Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. We have the director of fine arts for the Hilton Head Christian Academy and the director of jazz camp as our guest today on our program. His name is James Berry. We love him because he is so talented and he provides a great service to our youth in this community. James, great to have you on the show. Good to see you again, Robin. <laughs> All right, let's dive right in. Let's talk about jazz camp. Jazz Camp will be in July, July 10th through the 15th. Mm -hmm. A lot of exciting students coming from all over the country. So mm -hmm. for, the vis for the visitors, for the visitors and the viewers that are watching today, what, tell us a little bit about how it all came to be and then where you are today. We started this in 2011. It was really a local camp. We had nine students the first year, mostly students of mine. Nine? Only nine, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, Bob and Lois Masteller took notice. Uh, they came alongside us uh, with the J Jazz Foundation and really helped us expand. I think we were at 25 the second year, and then we got into 30 to 40 the next year. And before COVID, we had about 110 students. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so this year, where what are you expecting as far as numbers and where the students are coming from? Um, we really have students that come from all over the country. Um, we already have students now signed up from about 10 or 11 different states. Wow. And we've had students that come from as far away as Alaska. Yeah. And um, our faculty also come from all over the country, and it's it's really an awesome week. So what happens during that week? I know mm -hmm. you're in partnership with the symphony, the Hilton Head Symphony, for that Tuesday at Celebration Park. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a faculty concert um, with the symphony. But as far as the students, what, what happens during that week? So they come for the week, they get to experience big bands, combos, music theory, um, electives, master classes, lots of fun activities. And uh, we also have a vocal jazz and strings program in addition to traditional um, jazz big band um, programming. And so students really, with any type of background, can um, gain some experience from the jazz camp. And how do students find out about it? Um, really, it's been a lot of word of mouth uh, yeah. locally, and um, we'll get pockets of students from certain schools across the country that really have strong programs, and um, just kids love coming back. It's really a family atmosphere. Now, you, you mentioned the, the vocal piece of it. So it's mm -hmm. mostly percussion and, and, and brass, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you're also growing the whole vocal? Vocal performance? Yes, um, we have a, a vocal jazz program that's really tailored um, for vocalists so that they can study some piano. Um, we have Amy Nolte and Devin Gates on our faculty who are both phenomenal. Um, they do some a cappella singing, they do some um, vocal jazz training, and then they're going to have their own recital this year okay. on Thursday evening uh, during the camp week. So you mentioned faculty. Let's talk mm -hmm. more about faculty, how you get some phenomenal folks coming in. It's really been um, an incredible, incredible combination of just finding people um, that are very gifted at what they do. Um, sometimes professional musicians that come through the jazz corner ask about it, and uh, we'll invite them to come on faculty. Um, we really uh, expanded last year and the year before with our jazz strings program. Uh, Shauna Tucker heads that up. She's from Raleigh, and um, we're really excited to offer um, a special program from our string students as well. And of course, it's sponsored, the Jazz Camp is sponsored by the Junior Jazz Foundation. What is mm -hmm. that? Uh, it's a nonprofit, and the aim of this organization is to preserve this art form of jazz through performance and education. And um, they do this throughout the year. We have an instrument donation program, uh, a college scholarship program, school grant program. This is just one of the programs uh, where they provide funding and truly um, allowing the cost of the camp to not be as expensive as it normally would be. And is it in partnership with the Jazz Corner? Um, yes, uh, the Jazz Corner um, is a separate entity, but okay. the Jazz Foundation was founded by um, Bob and I Lois, thought. who started right. the, yeah. the Jazz Fantastic. Corner. Mm -hmm. So again, as far as any public performances or, or if someone wants to come and watch the kids or mm -hmm. that week, what, what, what besides that Tuesday, mm -hmm. of course that's the faculty, but. So yeah, we have four performances throughout the week. The Tuesday, as you mentioned, is going to be at Celebration Park in partnership with the Symphony. Uh, that's our faculty recital. Thursday evening on the campus of HHCA, we'll have our vocal recital. Friday evening, we'll have our combo performances. And then Saturday afternoon, we'll have our grand finale with the big bands. And it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of work. <laughs> you're in the throes of it already. That's right. You know, school's not quite over, mm -hmm. but you're in the planning stages. So James mm -hmm. Berry, thank you so much for thank everything you, for... you do for our youth and our future musicians thank you and vocalists. <laughs> Again, Jazz Camp will be July the 10th through the 15th. And check it out and go and watch some of these fabulous students perform. Thanks, James. Mm -hmm.